it's Tara and welcome to it and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I'm going to be reacting to Hayley Williams' new album, Petals for Armour. I am so excited to listen to this album. It came out basically a month ago and I haven't listened to any of the songs on it yet so I'm very excited. I've been a fan of Hayley since her Paramore days. I still listen to Paramore basically every single day. They're one of my favourite bands. So there are 15 songs on this album and four of which have official music videos to them. So I'm going to start listening to the album in order and once I finish a song I'm going to check if there's a music video for it and if there is then I'll go watch the music video and then come back to the album and just do that for the songs that have music videos because I want to get the full experience of the songs and I feel like if there's a music video for the song then you might as well watch it as well. Out of the four songs that have official music videos, two of them also have interludes for them. I don't think I'm going to be watching the interludes for the two songs, I'm just going to be watching the music videos. So for my last couple of videos I've explained that 13 Reasons Why Season 4 comes out in a couple days, like at the time of me filming this it comes out in like three days. So I just want to remind anyone that's interested in watching me react to Season 4, that video slash videos if I split it up, I don't know yet, but those will start coming out. I want to try and get it for the 20th of June. So that's just a reminder, keep a lookout around the 20th of June for the start of my 13 Reasons Why Season 4 reaction series. Now that that's out of the way, let's start reacting to this album because I'm so excited. Oh, <laughs> she's only said like three, like four words. Oh, I love her voice. Hayley Williams' voice is just so unique, but it's so, it's so good. <laughs> so far, this song reminds me of uh, the songs from After Laughter, which is Paramore's, um, like, the last album that they've released. As much as I love Paramore, I'm happy that Hayley's like branching out and doing her own thing. I really like it and so far, I'm enjoying this album. I mean, I'm only a minute and a half into the first song out of 15, but so far, so good. I really enjoyed that song. I think it's a great start to the album. I'm I am so excited to keep listening to this album. I'm also excited to see the music video for this song. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna watch the Simmer music video. Oh, I'm gonna put the music videos up on screen here. That's why I moved over. what okay so I assume the interlude is gonna play on that so I am gonna watch the interlude because I want to know what happens next it's so weird but I kind of like it very confused but I kind of like it. I have a feeling that at least the first two songs, so Sima and the next song is called Leave It Alone, they kind of flow into each other at least from a music video standpoint. the style that Hayley's going for like she's going for a very like I can't even just I don't even know what genre it is but like really flowy <gasps> I 
leave it alone is very flowy and I I don't know how to describe it I'm not good at describing music It's very interesting, like the stylistic choices that Haley's made for these videos and the songs are very unique and I really like it um, because I'm only listening to the songs twice technically because I'm listening to it by itself and then I'm watching the video but since I'm only listening to the songs twice and I'm only watching the videos once each um, I'm not gonna get like a great idea of the storyline like honestly I'm kind of lost already but I do really like the stylistic choices that have been made for it and like the visual design I really like it but obviously if there are more like die hard Hayley Williams fans that have like dissected every single little bit of these videos and the songs then obviously those people are gonna know the storyline a lot more than I'm gonna know the storyline really like Hayley's hair by the way how it's like this whole front half is blonde with the bangs and then the back half's all brunette I really like that um I didn't notice it in the other video in like the simmer video I don't was her hair like that in the simmer video I thought in the simmer video it was all blonde but I have no idea um I liked when she was like the butterfly in the cocoon I liked that but then it kind of switched and she was in this like she was like trapped in this like goo chamber i don't know i think it was meant to symbolize her like breaking out of the cocoon but she wasn't the butterfly anymore that's why i was confused like i feel like it would have made sense if she bursted out of it and the goo was all over her but she was still the butterfly instead of just her being her i don't know that bit didn't really make sense to me but overall i loved it Cinnamon is the next song on this album and Cinnamon also has a music video so I'm interested to see if this interlude goes into the Cinnamon music video. I'm not sure if it will but that would be cool if it does. It's like it's been born again or is that is that like what it's meant to symbolize? Oh, it's definitely going to cinnamon. There's no way. There's no way that that's just going to end there. Oh, I love this. I love when songs, like when you're listening to an album in order, if the songs flow like into each other. I love that. And I also like when artists really think about the storyline of the world that they're creating and they make the songs and the videos, like they, they're all telling one story. I love when they do that. that song let's watch the cinnamon music video which i'm assuming carries on from leave it alone what is that fuck that <laughs> can you imagine like your walls and floors coming to life in the shape of a person and chasing you through your house Nah, I give up. Just take me right there. I'm I'm done. I would not. <laughs> Isn't that the most terrifying thing you've ever seen in your life? <sighs> Thank God I don't have stairs in my house because that I would
it went not creepy for a second when they were all dancing together and then it went back to creepy and oh are all the songs on this album gonna get a music video like the other songs i really enjoyed that song i wouldn't say it's basic it's not basic but it's it doesn't have as much going on as the first couple songs it's not a bad thing to not have a lot going on in songs like that's what makes it emotional like kind of like if you have a lot of stuff like going on it's very hard to focus on like what's trying to be said I think this might be my favorite song. The screaming reminds me of old Paramore, like when Hayley used to scream in her songs. Oh, it's. I loved that song. I wish there was a music video for that song. I wonder why Hayley skipped Creepin' and Sudden Desire with the music videos because she did Simmer, Leave It Alone and Cinnamon, all the first three songs in the album with a music video and then she just misses Creepin' and uh, Sudden Desire and then Dead Horse is the sixth song on the album and it has a music video. So is the album not in order, like story-wise? Um, it was very upbeat, which um, compared to some of the previous songs, like some of the previous songs aren't really that like upbeat. realized when she's in this outfit her hair is the same hair from the cinnamon video so is it is this a continuation from cinnamon i'm not sure um because that's the only thing that kind of links this music video to like the previous storyline is that hair but it's meant to be a concept album, like the whole album is like one story. I think that's how concept albums work, I'm pretty sure. But it's all meant to be like one story. I really like that music video. I do really like Dead Horse as a song. say the same thing after I listened to every song like I liked it I don't know how much more I can say about each song like they're really good songs so it's now the next day um yesterday I had to leave to do something and by the time I got home I didn't have enough time to finish filming this video so I'm just gonna finish filming it now <laughs> that song it was very um it sounded very bouncy and it was like you could kind of like dance along to it i really liked it
when I started listening to this album, especially like the first couple songs, I started to get a feeling of like, like I was trying to figure out what the theme of the album was basically. And I've just been listening to like this first half of the album and pretty much in every song, there's some kind of reference to abuse, like domestic abuse. Like, uh, I don't know Haley's like story or the reason behind this whole album, but from what I can tell and from the Simmer music video, because in the Simmer music video, she was running from someone and she was referencing a man so I don't know if she was in a uh, abusive relationship or she's just trying to get out of a relationship or something like that. I'm not sure. I don't know Haley's full story or anything. But from the songs and like the lyrics and the music videos, the music videos as well. It's like she's always trying to escape from something, run from something. I I don't exactly know. Um, you can obviously do your own research to figure out the actual meaning behind it but I'm pretty sure that's it like it has something to do with I think it's some kind of abuse I'm not sure though I mean the album name pedals for armor armor which means you need to be protected I don't exactly know the pedals meta metaphor probably just like pedals are more feminine so maybe you just like the whole thing is you yourself you're your own armor like you protect yourself that might be the reason behind the name i'm not entirely sure again do your own research i'm not i'm not sure because when i was listening to the first couple of songs i was getting that kind of like she's running away from something i didn't mention it then because i wasn't entirely sure but now that i'm like halfway through the album i think it's kind of not obvious but there are definitely themes there are definitely themes of something along those lines. Roses, Lotus, Violet and Iris. I actually really, really like that song. Say something So that was one of the more calm and chill songs, but it was also one of the most sad and like almost depressing ones. I feel like in all the songs so far on this album, there's some kind of sadness within them, but especially that song, it just had some extra, I don't know, it just had something extra to it. I think it was just because there wasn't many instruments and for the majority of it, it was mainly just Hayley's voice and a piano. says cinnamon in this song so is this like the next song like the song after cinnamon because all of the songs mesh together i feel like like it all tells one storyline now that i'm actually listening to the album um if Haley does release any more music videos for any more of the songs i will be making separate reaction videos for them At the start of the song I was saying that oh she sang cinnamon which is a callback from one of the earlier songs but um right right at the end of the song it says sentimental I thought she was saying cinnamon um my bad I I really do like this song though at the very start of the song she was talking about um how the opposite of love is fear and that she doesn't feel the former anymore, which means she doesn't feel love anymore. She only feels fear, which kind of, which leans into the abuse thing that I was talking about earlier. Um, just cause with domestic abuse relationships, um, there's a lot of fear, like you're scared for your life. Um, so I think that's what 
I was referring to her. Again, I don't know. Her. I really like that song, like Sudden Desire, I think that's the name of it, Sudden Desire. Uh, that one, I think, so far is my favourite one. Um, but the rest of the songs are really good. I really enjoy all of the songs, like I said a million times in this video, but I like them all. gave me like major 80s vibes and I really enjoyed it. like that song um it was easy to like dance to and it was easy to like learn the lyrics like there aren't really a lot of lyrics like it's basically the same thing repeated over and over so it's really easy to learn oh that was the last song of the album i didn't even realize um, I think that was a very nice ending to the album. It was pretty calm, but it also had, like, darker notes to it. I mean, pretty much every song on this album had very dark, had pretty dark, like, themes. Yeah, so that's Petals for Armour by Hayley Williams. I loved this entire album, as you can probably tell if you've watched this whole video. Um, I enjoyed every single song. Um, I will be coming back to every song. There was not a single one on this album that I didn't like. I knew going into it there wasn't going to be any that I didn't like, but still, um, I love Hayley. I love her voice. I, I'm really happy with how this album turned out. The music videos for the four songs were so good i really hope that she makes more music videos and like i said earlier i will be making reaction videos to any new music videos that she releases because i'm excited to see how the storyline continues um yeah i don't know how much more i can say about this album it's just so good and i love Hayley, and oh, it's so good so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click like and subscribe to my channel to see more from me. Turn on post notifications to be notified of whenever I upload next. So like I said at the start, 13 Reasons Why Season 4 doesn't come out for a couple days, but my videos, my video slash videos won't start coming out until the 20th of June. That's the date that I want to start getting the videos out. And also, like I said at the start, I don't know whether it's going to be one video. I don't know if I'm going to do that or if I'm going to break up the um, video into like two parts or three parts. I'm not entirely sure. So subscribe and stay tuned in the next couple weeks if you're interested in seeing those videos. Thanks for watching.